Good morning, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and today we're continuing on revival, bringing revival to America, your country, your community, and I'm sharing with you from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, and we are sharing on putting on the whole armor of God. Today is our second piece, and today <clears throat> we talked about righteousness yesterday, and today... And the day before that, we talked about putting on the belt of truth. Today, we are talking about the gospel of peace. And in my book, I have a whole chapter on the gospel of peace, but we're just going to go over it right now uh, in general. Um, uh, put on the whole armor of God, and um, part of the armor is peace. Okay, so let me go back here to the beginning. Um, put on the whole armor of God here. Okay, you, have you learned loins skirt about with truth, breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace? So that's what we're talking about today, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Peace, excuse me, peace is nothing broken and nothing missing. Jesus came to earth to give us peace in every area of our life. And that's Luke 2.14. It says, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward man. Also, in Isaiah... It talks about how beautiful are the feet, are the uh, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who publish peace and bring good tidings of good. Okay, um, and in Second Peter one two it says, "Grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God." So the more you know about the goodness of God and everything the blood of Jesus paid for us to have, the more peace you'll have because you'll know the truth and you'll know how to walk in that. <clears throat> okay, now. Philippians 4, 6 and 8 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God, and the peace of God, which passes under all understanding, shall, guard, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now, <clears throat> Romans 12, 2, we talked about the other day. Don't be conformed to this world. That means everything, sickness, disease, poverty, lack, and fear, not just the way they dress, the way they think, and the way they act, but all those other things don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you might prove what is a good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. And I believe here they're talking about don't be conformed to um, the world's system of manna. <clears throat> the world's system of manna instead of the kingdom. The kingdom operates by sowing and reaping, binding and loosening, words of your mouth, walking in love. Man, uh, man's kingdom or the kingdom of manna. Oh, got a phone call. Hang on a second. <laughs> Okay, that was my husband. He says hi. Okay, <clears throat> the manum money, the money system is the world system, and that's what's collapsing today, and it's going to continue to collapse and get worse. But that is a built on selfishness. Get everything you can. Keep it for yourself. Uh, just a, uh, buying and selling and uh, working and, you know, just a whole different system. Anyway, let's get back to the word here. Um, Okay, so there's two different systems. So you don't want to be conformed to the world, but you want to renew your mind um, so you begin to walk in the truth of the word. And Romans 5 says you have peace with God through Jesus. And it also talks about um, the gospel of, the preparation of the gospel of peace. And what that means is <clears throat> you're always prepared no matter where you go. You are, you prayed, you're, you're, you're believing God, the power is in you. Um, wherever you go to lay hands on the sick and have people healed. And I'm going to do a video clip on witnessing because um, in the last two weeks I've been able to save uh, 23 people and get a bunch of them healed by uh, just evangelizing. Just it's, it's awesome and I want to share it with you. But right now let's get back to this. Uh, let's see. A preparation of the gospel of peace on your feet because your feet uh, represent authority and dominion and uh, Satan is under your feet. And you are to reign, okay, it says in 1 Corinthians 15, um, for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet, and we are the feet. The last enemy that is destroyed is death, for he has put all things under his feet. Death is destroyed, but we have, um, death will be destroyed, but while death is on the earth, we have authority and dominion over death. And that's another chapter in my book, how we can raise the dead and how we have authority over death. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Okay, uh, let me see what else I want to go over here. Okay, it talks about how heaven is God's throne and earth is his footstool. That's Isaiah 66.1. 1. 
And we are, in Ephesians 1.22, we are the body of Christ. Um, and everything is put under his feet. He is the head and we're the body and the fullness is in us. We are Jesus' body on the earth today. The Holy Spirit lives in us today to create um, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of God, the power, authority, and dominion of God is in us to cause in our life and everybody around us and in our community and our world to bring uh, heaven on earth now even before we go to heaven because that's how we were originally created uh, earth was to be a copy of heaven and we were supposed to have all our supplies and needs and everything met just like in the garden until Adam messed it up so um, I don't know where I was going with that <laughs> we'll just leave it at that um, everything's supposed to be under our feet and uh, we're supposed to take Wherever we go with our feet, we're supposed to get people saved, healed, and delivered in body, spirit, and soul. And um, I'm reading from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, author Robin Bremer. You can buy it at Amazon.com. You can order it uh, through Christian bookstores. Tell your uh, church bookstore to carry it or any store that you go to to carry it. Um, you can order it through Borders. It's mo more expensive, uh, and Amazon's probably one of the cheapest ways. Um, anyway, this is Robin Bremer, you're watching Walks with God, and I'm out. I'll see you tomorrow.